Hi, welcome to the video Hibernate Composite Primary Key Examples with me Nam Ha Ming from Code Java.net. In this video, I'd like to share with you why Composite Primary Key, how to map Composite Primary Key in Hibernate Framework using the ID class Embeddable Embedded ID Annotations. And you will also learn mapping Composite Primary Key that has front keys. And also through this uh, video, I will demo some Hamlet composite primary key examples uh, with a Java Maven project uh, based on the following technologies Hamlet ORM core, JPA annotations, MySQL, JDBC driver, and the software programs I used are Java Development Kit, MySQL Server, and MySQL Workbench, and Eclipse IDE. So, why composite primary key? You know, a uh, composite primary key is a primary key that contains uh, more than one columns and when its values uh, combined together, uniquely identify rows in the table. Let's see a couple of examples. You see the airports table has a composite primary key that consists of two columns, country code and city code. That means the values uh, in the columns, country code and city code, when combined together, uniquely identify rows in the airport table. And similarly, the phone contacts table has a composite and primary key that consists of uh, two columns, area code and number. And the values of uh, these two columns, area code and number, when combined together, uniquely identify rows in the phone contacts table. So, using composite and primary key, uh, no separate uh, numeric uh, primary key is uh, needed as usual. Thus, reduce the data needs to be stored in the table as the columns in the composite key are uh, uh, parts of the table. To demo the code examples, I have a Java Maven project in Eclipse IDE, as you can see here. And this is the content of the Maven project file. In the dependencies section, you can see I used Hibernate Core version 6.1.5. Final and MySQL Connector Java version 8.0.31. And this is a Hibernate configuration XML file. You see, I specify the database correction properties here JDBC URL uh, to localhost uh, database schema test DB and uh, Hibernate dialect is MySQL 8 dialect. Okay, and this is a main test class in which I already wrote some uh, skeleton code. Uh, open a session factory, open a session, open a transaction. And in the next uh, few minutes, uh, I will put uh, some code examples here. Okay, and uh, this is MySQL workbench. I have the database schema test DB here, you see, and it has no tables uh, at the moment. Now, I'm going to show you how to implement composite primary key mapping using the ID class annotation. Uh, suppose that we have uh, the table airports that has a composite primary key like this. Uh, it consists of two columns, country code and city code. And in Java code, uh, we need to uh, uh, declare an ID class like this, airport ID, that consists of two fields that uh, map to the corresponding columns in the table, country code and city code. And then in the entity class, we need to use the ID class annotation, uh, specify the ID class name here. And uh, in this entity class, we also need to redefine the mapping columns uh, in the composite uh, primary key, country code and city code, you see. Okay, uh, firstly, I'm going to create the airport uh, table in the um, MySQL workbench here, in the test DB schema. So I create a new table. Right click on tables, create table here. Okay, table name is uh, airports, and the first column is uh, country underscore code. Data type is Vacha. 
Vacha 3 and the second column is um, city code data type is also Vacha length is 3 and also check the primary column here so you see we have a composite primary key in the new table that consists of two columns country code and city code and the other column is name name of the airport Vacha 60 for example not now okay and click apply to create this table apply finished okay here we go the airports table here columns on the table and you can see we have a composite and primary key here that consists of two columns country code and city code okay and then in the project uh, we need to code the id class like this airport id uh, note that uh, the id class must uh, implement the uh, serial label in interface implements serializable interface from java.io package and we declare the mapping fields country code and city code okay and generate getters and setters and also we need to override the has code and equals method for the id class okay so this is the airport id class that uh, represents the uh, composite uh, primary key okay and then we code the entity class airport here we use some jpa annotations entity and uh, table to uh, specify the name of the mapping table is airports okay and then we use the id class uh, annotation and specify the name of the of the id class is airport id dot class and note that uh, using the id class annotation in the entity class we need to redefine the uh, Pills in the uh, primary in the composite and primary key okay and we also have the mapping field name okay we use the id annotation here and column annotation to specify the name is country underscore code and the maximum length is three characters the same for the city code column city code field that maps to the city underscore code column in the database table okay and then we need to generate getters and setters for all the fields okay you see so this is the entity class this is the id class okay very simple and because this is a hybrid project so i need to declare the mapping class here net.codejava.airport okay and i update the code in the main class here i write some code to persist uh, an airport uh, entity object into the database airport airport equal new airport okay and before that i declare airport id airport id id equal new airport id and set the country code and city code for example uh, uh, country code is in for india and city code is and blr and the name of the airport set name is 
Bangalore. Okay. And then I uh, use the session object here to proceed this entity object session proceed airport. Okay. And then I run this main class. Right click run as Java application. Mm -hmm. You see, I got the error column city underscore code cannot be now. City code. Sorry, uh, I need to set the um, ID class for the entity object set ID here. Set um, the airport entity class here. So we uh, don't need to set a country code and city code for the ID class. We just need to set country code and city code for the airport airport object here. So using the uh, ID class annotation, we don't need to create a new object of the ID class. And just uh, specify the type of the ID class here, airport ID. Okay, and this is uh, an example code that persists an airport object into the database. Now run the program again. Okay, done. A successful, and you can see it executed a SQL insert statement into the airports table here. And let me check the database table airports here. Select rows and you can see one row inserted with country code in city code BR name Bangalore. Okay, if I run the program again, I should got I should get an error because the composite primary key contains is violated. You can see a duplicate entry in hyphen BLR. So this is the values of the composite primary key now let me update the code to insert another airport country code is usa city code is jfk and the airport name is uh, new york john f kennedy and run the program Okay, successful. And let me check in the database. You see, we, I have the second row inserted kanji code USA and CD code JFK. Alright, so far so good. And now let me update the test code here. Now, this time I um, uh, write a query, execute a hibernate query with uh, HQL is uh, from airport A where from airport A okay session create query HQL and the type of the class is airport dot class okay query query dot list it returns a list of airports list airports for each I print now the each object in the collection and in the airport class I override the two string method country code city code and name okay okay so you can see the query is very simple it selects all rows from the airport table now i run the test again
Okay, now you see it prints two airports, country code India, USA. Okay, correct. And now let me update the query here. I filter the country code. Here, where a dot country code, for example, USA. Okay, and run the program again. Okay, you see now it uh, lists only one airport uh, with country code is USA. And note that in the query, we refer to the field in the composite primary ID uh, column normally because in the entity class, we declare the field mapping for the fields in the composite ID uh, composite uh, primary key here. Yeah. Next, I'm going to show you how to implement composite primary key mapping using uh, the uh, embeddable and uh, embedded ID annotations. Suppose that we have the table phone contacts that has a composite primary key which consists of two columns, area code and number. So in Java code, we need to uh, write an ID class, phone ID like this, that implements the serializable interface and it should be uh, annotated using the uh, embeddable annotation. And it uh, declares the mapping uh, fields to the columns in the database as usual. Okay, and in the entity class phone contact, we uh, declare uh, an uh, embedded ID field like this that refers to the uh, ID class. Okay, and now I will use Hamlet uh, forward uh, engineering. I code the entity class first and then it will generate the tables in the database. So come back to the project and now I create a new class for the ID field phone ID and use the embeddable annotation. And we declare the mapping fields uh, to the columns in the database. The first one uh, is uh, area code and the second one is number area cost the area code is of type uh, integer okay and then the number and then uh, first name and first name and last name first name sorry this is a phone the ID class, so we declare only the uh, fields that map to the composite uh, columns in the composite key in the database. So we just declare area code and number, area code and number here. Okay, and in this uh, ID class, we can use the column annotation. Uh, specify the column name is area underscore code and the uh, a maximum length is um, 12 characters. Sorry, sorry, this is a numeric uh, column. Nullable equal force. Okay, so for the second column, we uh, specify the maximum length. is 12 characters okay and generate getters and setters okay and i also generate constructor constructor using fields area code and number so i need to uh, declare uh, no argument constructor that is required by hibernate 
Okay, you see, so this is a code of a 90 class for 90. Uh, we use the uh, embeddable annotation like this and the two mapping columns, error code and number. Okay, now uh, let me code the entity class, the phone contact class. So we use the entity annotation and table annotation specify the column sorry the table name is phone underscore contacts okay now in this entity class we uh, declare the id field as a normal field here phone id id and we use the embedded id annotation okay and then we declare the normal fields first name and last name And we use the column annotation to uh, specify the mapping column name is first underscore name. The maximum length is 20 characters. Length 20 nullable equal false. And the same for the last name field. Okay, and then we generate getters and setters okay and generate to string method okay and in the phone id class i also need to generate equals and has code and to string okay so this is uh, phone id class this is a phone contact class in the phone id class we use the embedded sorry embeddable annotation and in the phone contact class we use the embedded id annotation for the composite id field or a composite primary key column primary key in the database okay now we come to write code here Now I create a new phone ID. ID equal new phone ID. Passing the area code, uh, for example, 84, 1234567889 is the phone number. Okay, and create a new phone contact object. Contact equal new phone contact and we set contact set id is the id object and then we set first name and last name okay and we proceed this phone contact object into the database okay and run the program uh, you can see in the uh, database we don't have the phone contacts uh, table okay now i run the program and it uh, will generate the phone contacts table so run mm, sorry i also need to specify the mapping class in the hibernate configuration file here the mapping class is phone contact okay and run the program again okay you see uh, the program has uh, executed successfully and you can see it uh, generated the table of phone contacts here with the primary key is you know, a composite key that consists of two columns area code and number and it also inserted a new row into the phone contacts table and let me check in my sql workbench we have the phone contacts table here on the table and you can see the composite primary key that consists of two columns area code and number you can see here and let me select rows in this table you can see 
one row inserted area code number first name last name okay so far so good now let me update the code to uh, execute a query okay and the query is like this from phone contact mm, sorry uh, before that i uh, insert uh, the second row proceed the second uh, phone contact object mm, phone id area code is 91 and phone number 9876543321 first name Ravi Kuma. Okay, and run the program again, and it should insert the uh, second row into the phone contacts table, as you can see here. Okay, we have two rows, and now let me uh, execute a query here. HQL equal from phone contact where phone contact B I will filter the phone contact by the field in the composite field area code here so I write the query like this p.id.area dot area code equal 91 in session create query phone contact dot class and uh, create a new query object and query dot list context context for each system dot l dot no, print line okay and uh, run the program okay you see it lists only one contact uh, with area code 91 exactly and so uh, with uh, a composite ID view or composite uh, primary key mapping using uh, embedded ID annotation the query like this we specify the ID field and then the uh, field name in the ID class here you see phone ID here the code number next I'm going to show you how to implement a composite primary key that has foreign keys uh, suppose that we have uh, three tables like this uh, products uh, orders and other details uh, you see uh, the other details table is an intermediate table uh, that implements many to many relationship between products and others it has a composite primary key that consists of two front keys the first one refers to the primary key of the products table and the second one order ID refers to the primary key of the orders table so in Java code uh, we uh, code the product class that maps uh, with the products table like this uh, as usual and the other entity class that maps uh, with the orders table in the database as usual and for the composite primary key that has front keys we write a code like this use the embeddable annotation and in the fields uh, mapping in the uh, id class we use the many to one and uh, joint column annotations for the um, mapping of foreign keys and then in the entity class order detail we declare the id field here order detail id using the embedded id annotation okay now let me show you the existing code i already have the product entity class here and the other entity class here you see 
and in the database uh, we have the others table you see others table and products table you see okay now let me code the um, id class for the uh, mapping of composite uh, primary key that has a front keys so i name the class is uh, order detail id and we use the embeddable annotation and here in this uh, composite uh, id field we need to declare the field mapping for the uh, product product in order okay and the red get us and set us okay okay and implements the serializable interface okay and here i use the many to one annotation and the right column is uh, product ID name is product ID and for uh, for the mapping of foreign key to the order table we use the many to one annotation with the right column is order ID order ID okay okay and then now we need to generate equals and has code for the product table equals and has code here based on the id field equals and has code for the um, order table order entity class okay and generate equal equals and has code for the id class order detail id okay mm, okay and then code the uh, order detail entity class order detail entity table and the table name is order underscore details and here we use uh, we declare the id field like this order detail id id equal new order detail id and then we have um, the other fields such as quantity unit price and subtotal and for the id uh, field here uh, we use the embedded id annotation use a column annotation here yeah, to specify the column name is unit underscore price okay and generate get us and set us okay and generate equals and has code based on the id field okay so uh, that is the code of the entity classes the other detail id class here you see that has two fields that refer uh, to um, front keys in the database okay under detail here okay now let me run the main class here that's open session and close session so hymnet will generate the order details table based on the mapping annotations uh, embeddable and uh, embedded id here so let me run mm -hmm nothing happened uh, it's because i uh, have not specified the mapping class here i need to specify the mapping class is other detail okay and run the program again 
Okay, you see it um, uh, generated the other details table here. You can see the primary key is the composite primary key that consists of two front keys, order ID and product ID. Okay, let me check in my SQL Workbench. Refresh all, and we have the order details table here. Sorry. Okay, order details table here. You see, we have the composite uh, primary key that consists of the columns product ID and order ID. And uh, product ID is a front key that refers to the ID in the products table. And uh, order ID uh, column is the front key that refers to the ID column in the orders table. Okay, so far so good. Okay, now let me uh, write some code uh, in the main class here to proceed a uh, product object, another object, and another detail object into the database. Product, uh, product equal new product. Set name, for example, iPhone 20. Product set price, for example, two thousand. Okay, and sorry. Okay, and then proceed. Open a new transaction session. Begin transaction. Transaction commit here. Yeah. Okay, and proceed the product object in the session. Session dot proceed product. Okay, and then proceed a new order object. Order set customer name, name I mean. Set status uh, in progress. And proceed session. Proceed order. Okay. Okay, and now I create a new order detail ID. Order detail ID equal new order detail ID and set uh, order references of order and product. Set product, product, order detail. Sorry, okay, it's correct. set order okay okay and then i create a new order detail object order detail equal new order detail and uh, set the id view set id equal order detail id order detail set unit price 2000 set Quantity two and set uh, subtotal is uh, four thousand. Okay, and then proceed the other detail object into the session. Okay, and run the program. Okay, you see successful. It inserted. Uh, three rows into three tables, products, orders, and other details. And let me check the database in the products table. You see one row inserted here. In the orders table, you see one row inserted here. And in the other details table, you see one row inserted here. The values in the composite uh, primary key here, one, one. Unit price, subtotal, and quantity. Very good. All right. So far, you have learned how to uh, map composite primary key in Hibernate framework. Uh, note that if you use uh, ID class uh, with ID class annotation, the ID class must be public, and it must implement the serializable interface, and it must have a no argument constructor, and it must override the equals and has code methods. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.